Arc salute you all out there, and welcome back to another episode of Summer Shenanigans Season 6. And today, in today's episode, we're trying a fairly new game. Uh, if you can't tell what it is immediately, let me just uh, advance it a little bit further. Select English as our language and English as the voice text. And uh, I'd say this guy's probably the closest to what I look like. Uh, you know, we'll just, we'll, we'll change it, because that, that'll be a little awkward to see in the text. We'll change it back to alpha, it's fine. I'm sure I'm ready to start. I want to welcome you guys to the new Pokemon Snap. The, uh, now, I have actually already, well, I personally haven't played through it. My girlfriend played through it, and I've watched it. Uh, at least the beginning of this game, uh, and I and I was having like a long debate of whether I wanted to um, do a like do the part that I've been through and then start from there, or start from the beginning and play it on the channel. And I think what I'm going to do, well, I mean, obviously, what I'm already doing is starting from the beginning, and uh, I think I might do other more episodes because I've seen this game. You can already tell it's gorgeous. It is a superb game, and I haven't even played it yet, and I'm excited about it. Hi there! I'm glad you made it! Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Nature Sciences, or LENS for short. My name is Mir. I'm researching Pokemon in their natural environment here on Florio Island. I'm also the first Pokemon professor to not have a tree for a name, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lentil region. No one's ever done an ecological study like this before. It's going to be amazing. No one. Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? Hmm. But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. Hey, I'm on break too. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> ah, yes, that's right, and I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab and get settled? Yeah. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead, you, I'll lead the way. This game... Oh, my God. I am so excited for future Pokemon games if this is what we're getting for spin-off games. This is unbelievable. All right, allow me to explain. The Lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more and more about them in their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and, re and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you, so he, so take care of it. Nice. The technology on this thing is mind-blowing. <laughs> awesome, right? The professor invented it. Can I explain how to use a professor? Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. All right, come on, let's go outside. All right, now, if you've never seen a Pokemon Snap game, uh, tutorials are based on the default button layers, don't, don't you know? But this is a photography game. Let's see, Alpha, perfect timing. Oh, she's gonna tell us about all these things. Uh, I'm gonna I'm wait, hold on, for a better moment, because it's all about the right framing. You know, you gotta get the perfect framing and this is probably the best we're going to get. Yeah, so you can kind of move it around, you know, and then uh you can point your camera up and down and even spin all the way around left or right. Wow. Which I don't recommend unless you're in handheld mode, because we tried it, uh, me and my girlfriend tried it, and it was, uh, 
It was something else. Like, it's weird waving your hands, but not, like, looking at where the camera is pointing. It's, it's bizarre. Interesting. Okay. Pew. Do something. There we go. <laughs> yes, it sure did. But even when you do that, it won't necessarily count. <laughs> How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. Well, considering we only took three shots. We'll look at this Pikachu folder. Obviously, this uh, we can select one photo. And obviously, this one that was closer is going to be better. And in the pavilion photo, this is the only one we have, so it's what we've got. So, let's see how we get graded. Starting with photo number one. Oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. The first thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Okay, okay. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars the photo receives doesn't affect its score. Each category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what, what was happening when you took each photo. The data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now, on to the other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice, balanced photo. And finally, you'll get a bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of info at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, then snap, then shutter. Uh, with all that in mind, here's your evaluation. 3,000 points, Silver Star. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. A new discovery. Next is Pavilion, a new addition to our research. Nice work. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. 2,450 bronze star. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. We're going to be hearing a lot of that stuff if we continue to play this game on this channel, but uh, yeah. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That would be a great milestone to work towards. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. All right. Now then. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expeditions. By the way. It's called the Neo One. <laughs> it's the best. It can teleport you to far off places in no time flat. Here's the thing. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago. With a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes us. It makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the Lento region. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch the camera to the console.
Nice. Oh, this game. This game looks so pretty. Just, it's so unbelievable. An adventurer who explored the islands in the Lunta region around 100 years ago. After an encounter with an Illumina Pokemon, when he was just a child, something something probably about disappearing. Alright, our first adventure in the new Pokemon Snap. And we immediately have... Nice. And I know there's, um, well, here they are, right here. Well, they walked away. That's fine. Some Buffalant. Pichu, want to come out and play? Pichu? Pichu? Yeah, I'll get a shot later. It's fine. Nice. <laughs> oh, this game is so pretty. I love it so much. It's just so, like... When they released this for the N64, it was such an interesting concept to, like, not catch any of the Pokemon, not disturb them in their natural habitats, just kind of, you know, just admire them. I got some charred, uh, fruits. Oh, hi, Mulga. Bam. Nice. Um... That's a better worm pull. Yeah, I might get it. Actually, you know what? Here, let's get this one on the tree. That's a nice one. We'll get this too, because I know it's something. Ah, oh, I mean, just look at how majestic this is. It is just like this is this is so wild, like. I never really played the original, um, the original, uh, Pokemon Snap, but even so, like, this is such a nice little adventure to have. Oh, why'd well, you gotta turn around, bro? Nice, that's a good Bidoof. Gotta get this Magikarp over here too, and there's a Hoot Hoot. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that's okay. Nice. I like these. And like, my, my thing too is that I really enjoy photography. Like it is, I, I find photography super interesting and I found, and I took a liking to it a couple years ago. I haven't done it in a little bit, um, but it is just so much fun. Oh, that might be a really good one. Even though he's not really facing the camera. I bet that one turned out great. Are you sure? <laughs> I bet you if I graded that one, it wouldn't be the best. Right, we're going to wait for a good, clear shot. And... Nice. And just look at these gorgeous flower fields. Like, this is just so unbelievable. Ugh. There's another Taylor going by. Look at this floor just too when she turns around. Look over here. Oh, that one's good. Ooh, I like that one. Alright. That was a pretty good first run. <laughs> I'm glad we've mastered the technology of teleportation. So we can, uh, <laughs> you know, do these sorts of things. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in the Florio Fior Nature Park. Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. Alright, let's see. Let's choose these. 
Uh, that might be a better pavilion photo. Let's see. This is probably the best one I get for Grookey. <laughs> I kind of like that Dodrio one. That's the only one I took for Buffalant. I like that one better. I want to see what he says about it climbing on the tree. I'm probably going to get a poor grade for that one, but I'm just, I'm, I'm intrigued. Oh, I got a three-star one on this? Wow. We got Emolga. We got Swana. Halo, I like this one. Pichu in the bush. Magikarp in the water. Hootoot sleeping. Ooh, a two star one. All right, all right. And then of course, you know, we got no subject ones here. All right, let's see what we get. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Oh, it's Villian. It takes my breath away. Seats in flight. Nice work. Keep it up. Whoo! Whoo! Other Pokemon. Oh, you can see like tiny little pixels of the other one. Great job with your sizing. The Pokemon looks nice and big. Of course, I'm gonna keep the new one. Nice. That, that one looks good. That one looks good. A new discovery. Next, we've got Grookey, a new addition to our research. Nice work. You must be in a hurry. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Nice, I like, I like. Nice. Try getting close-ups of Pokemon faces, too. Don't know how much closer you can get than that. <laughs> Next is Dodria, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Talk about a close, a, up close and personal. Nice work, keep it up. Nice. Nice placement score. Your subject's dead center, so it all feels balanced. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Next is Bufalon, a new one for your photo decks. Ah, oh, I see. What a fascinating behavior. Good work. This is no easy shot to get. They were kind of just standing there. Having other Pokemon in the photo is a nice touch. Whatever. <laughs> a new Next we got Bidoof, a new addition to our research. Nice work. Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Nice work. Keep it up. Of course, Bidoof is the first platinum star that I get, or diamond star, whatever they call that. Great job at getting the Pokemon to look straight at you. I don't know if that's necessarily straight at me. A new discovery. Next is Wurmple. This is the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Nice work. Seems calm. Nice work. Keep it up. Yeah, I figured that one wouldn't be as great. Nice placement score. Your subject's dead center, so it all feels balanced. Yeah, he's probably going to say a lot of the same stuff, so I'll just kind of... See what he says about Florges being a three star. Next is Florges. This is the first time you got an Ezra subject. Let's see. Now, this you don't see every day. Fantastic. You captured exactly the right moment. Whew. Whew. That's a good one. Great job with your sizing. The, the Pokemon looks nice and big. That's a good one. That's a keeper. Hi, Moga. New Pokemon. Seems calm. Nice, all right. You can tell a lot from the Pokemon's expression. Swana. A new discovery. Uh, seems to be swimming. Nice. This should be a good one. Seems calm. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Peach you in the grass. Nice work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Magic carp. Fascinating behavior. Yeah, sure. Splashing is fascinating. Looking good. Hoot hoot. A new discovery. First time we've got it as our subject. Nice, work. nice. Still a brown star, but whatever. 
Comfe. This is also, I think, a two-star one. This is fairly common behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. God, that probably would have been worse than one of the stationary ones. Whatever. It's a two-star. I don't know. I'll take it. So, what did you think? Anyway. One last thing. Let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon uh, types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category from one star to four stars. So in short, fill up that photo decks. Keep that in mind and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you may have along the way. And we leveled up. Nice. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. And we get... Photo Program Newbie. Research Florio Nature Park for the first time. Got a score of 1,000 points or more in the placement category during a photo evaluation. And that's about it. So we can also save photos to our album, which I might do with a couple of these, because I like a couple of them. I like the Dodrio one. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Oh, Lord. <coughs> Woo! Goodness. All right. Uh, kind of like the Bidoof one, too. Uh, and I definitely like that Florgeous one. That is, that is a bit unusual. But I think that's all I want. Yeah. Cool. And we'll return to camp. And I think we'll uh, end this episode after this a bit. This little bit of text. Landscape photos taken by Rita can be seen in the lab. They don't appear to be photos of lentil, but it's not clear where exactly they were taken. Hmm. Interesting little tidbits. But I think after this text, we'll uh, call it an episode and... You know, do the usual spiel. That covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? <laughs> Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about that when you stop by the lab. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. All right. All right, so I think that is actually going to do it for this episode. I, this is another one of those games where first, like, couple minutes in, and I absolutely adored it. It is a gorgeous game, wonderful concept, like, I know it's a redux of the, well, maybe not a, a redux, like a sequel, sure. But it is such a fantastic concept, like, Pokemon as a whole is, like, a super great concept, but being able to, like, just enjoy the nature of pokemon and take photos of them that is brilliant and i love this game so i definitely want to play more of this uh whether it's on the channel for summer shenanigans on the channel for a let's play or even on stream for a let's play or just playing it in general which i think is what i'm honestly going to end up doing is that i might end up playing it on stream because this seems like a very streamable game to just kind of you know chill out and talk to people so uh like I've done in previous episodes, I will link my Twitch down in the uh, description. Uh, you may see me playing this occasionally. Uh, and I will also link my uh, stream archive channel if you want to watch. If you ever miss a stream, you can watch stuff there. Uh, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy this uh, and want to see more of it, don't forget to leave a like and a comment telling me so. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you have not, and don't forget to ring that bell to get notifications of when I upload next, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Uh, bye 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 bye